Hi, my name is Yusra Mardini and we are here in Evian. I am so excited to meet an athlete from Ethiopia. She's a cyclist, her name is Iro Gibro, and she just made it to the Refugee Olympic team and had the honor of carrying the torch a few weeks ago. This is my happy place uh, because I, I, I really like to train in the mountains and it's safe for me to train and to discover all the roads. So yeah, I'm so happy. I would love to know a little bit more about your story about escaping from Ethiopia and what were the reasons? I was here racing in Europe for three years uh, with the UCI Women's Continental Team. I was following my dream, living my life. Then in 2020, uh, when I returned home for the off season, the war started in my country. And yeah, it was really horrible. I couldn't go to see my family because everything was blocked and the war was so intense. My friends who do the cycling, they, they died and from my family too. So I don't want to wait there, like to, yeah, so I decide to leave my country. The biggest challenge is being far from your family and yeah, you cannot see them. When the years goes, like the time you've been separated is getting longer and you miss them. It's a big challenge, but we have to be strong. So what did it mean uh, to you when the Refugee Olympic team was announced and you're a part of it? When I hear that I was selected for the Paris Olympic, yeah, I was so emotional because it was my dream to compete in the Olympics. So for me, it was, uh, it was amazing and it's a dream come true. I would like to prepare as much I can for the rest. I know it's a uh, it's really hard rest, but I, I don't want to aim for less. So I go there, I will enjoy my rest and I will try all my best. How was your experience being as Olympian? It was really incredible because for me, I couldn't, it took me a while to get used to the word refugee. When I, when I got to Germany, I was only 17 years old. So um, I was like, oh, there's a refugee Olympic team, what's that? Because it was the first time the team ever existed. Um, but when I met everyone on the team and I understood that we're representing something way bigger than a gold medal, it just really gave me the motivation. There's one thing that I forgot to ask you about and it's the torch relay. How was that? Oh, it was amazing. I never, I never expected in my life to torch the <laughs> Olympics. So it was good experience. I don't know, it was my greatest and proudest of day. It was so emotional. I, I want to cry, but I say, okay, hold it, hold it. And now when I, when I see the pictures, it makes me emotional. It must have been so special. You're carrying the torch, yeah. and in the end, you know that you are a part of it. And in the end, they're gonna light the torch in the stadium, and you'll be like, oh, I was a part of it. Yeah, now I'm a refugee, and I'm going to represent uh, more than 100 million people. So it's big, uh, it's big honor and big responsibility for me. Uh, yeah, I'm so happy and proud. <laughs>